I have a Transformers questions for you. What's that?、Uh, in the new movie, the robots ride on those metal dinosaurs. Dinobots? Yeah. The guys riding them、um, are robots the size of cars and trucks, right? Uh huh. But on the dino robots, they look like a baby's riding construction equipment. Uh, I'm not too sure what you're getting at. It would mean those Dinobots are like hundreds of feet long, way bigger than a real dinosaurs would be. Yeah, and、uh, I guess I'm not sure if that's ridiculously awesome or just ridiculous. You might have just stumbled on the secret of Michael Bay's success. Ah, stupid toys! Getting all mad at me just 'cause their stupid older could hurt so hard. I did not even do anything to her directly, except be super funny and clever. I'll show those jerks. I'll stay out in the rain and rust solid. Then they'll all be sorry.、Uh, Come with me if you want to live. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Windshear.、Uh, I am a minicon robot just like you. Whirlwind, howdy. My associates and I want you to join us. For what? What do you guys do? We travel the globe in search of others like ourselves. Maybe one day we conquer the earth. Who knows? We'll see how things play out. And what do you do? I'm an expert at hanging out and watching movies I pirated off the internet, and just being awesome. Sabrina, what are you doing here? Just dropping by. I thought maybe I would support the store you work for. You want to buy something? Um. Uh. I guess not. Smart move. So, what is Timmy doing here with you? I'm watching him while Amy is trying out for a new job. There's some things weird about him being right here. Really? What's she doing? Something in phone cells, I think. What am I wearing? Why nothing at all, baby. Welcome back, Amy. Did you get the job? I did, and I quit it right away. Really?、Mm. Why? Turns out it wasn't telemarketing so much more like a phone sex line. Oh, you. I thought maybe I could make it work for a minute, but then I thought about one thing. What's that? Someday he'll ask, "What does mommy do for a living?" Whoa! You guys combine together? That's awesome! You're almost as big as a person. <laughs> Why don't I what? Wait. You're say you're saying I can? I don't see why not. We could combine right now if you want. Oh,、uh, you mean like? Right here, in front of everybody. Are you okay? Yeah. No. No. I. I, I just don't. You know. When I go showing off, right? I didn't realize one could blush through a face blade. So, take me through the events that led to your arrest. Well, this piece of criminal attack nearly killed a good friend of mine. Your employee, Sabrina. Yes. So I tracked the guy down and I paid him back for what he did. With violence.、Mm-hmm. Uh, why? Why didn't you just tell the police where to find him? I can't really rely on the cops to beat the ever-loving shit out of the guy, can I? <laughs> That was amazing. Pretty good for for our first try. I kind of feel like I want to smoke or something. 
So, will you join us? Join me? I... I think I will. The purpose of this session is to help you to find alternatives to a violent outburst. I don't regret my outburst. I'm not happy I was caught, but i do the same thing again in a minute. You know what happened. Do you think my actions were justified or, uh, or not? The police seem to, to have a problem with it. No, I'm asking what you think. Do you really think I was that out of the line? As a therapist, it's not my place to make morality judgments on patients. Come on! <laughs> if I'm supposed to avoid the violence, what should I do? Well, I'm sure you've heard about counting to ten. That helps to diffuse an immediate angry reaction. Similarly, it can help to wait a few hours or even days before taking action. That way you can cool off and look at the situation more objectively and less emotionally. Does that really work? Sure it does. For you, maybe. Happy birthday, Sabrina! This is for you! Wow! This isn't supposed to be out yet. How do you get one? Well... Thanks so much. I I'm gonna open this up in my room. Uh, you see? I got it early from the seller in Hong Kong on eBay. I pay through the nose to get it, but you're worth it. I hope you appreciate... Uh, sla I wouldn't really know how how well these anger techniques work until I'm in a situation that calls for them, would I? Probably true. But it took my friend nearly getting, getting killed to send me into the, a rage. How am I supposed to test that? I'm just trying to keep you options to keep in mind and asking you to try your best. Remember, it's not about suppressing anger entirely. It's about keeping yourself out of trouble. Really? This stuff all seems uh, pretty hollow and obvious. Give me a break. I'm working from a court-mandated script here. Well, uh, we've covered most of the important bullet points here. For all the good it did. Yeah, well, either way you still have a few required hours of sessions left. So... What do you want to talk about? Damn it! I was too busy cramping about your methods to take about that! No fair! Sorry. So, even with my job, we're still having trouble paying the pills. Amy's been looking for work, but nothing decent so far. Until she finds a worthwhile job, I'm not sure what we're going... I'm not sure what to talk about. Well, since this all started when your friend was hurt, maybe you can tell me a... Uh, maybe you can tell me something about this Sabrina. Well... Well, she showed up to work at my studio years ago. She was a real prude at first, but I helped loosen her up. I don't think she liked me much when we first met, but over time we got to be a friends. Good friends, even. And uh, what do you think about her? Mostly I'm surprised that she's stuck around as long as she has. Do you think you would have uh, reacted the same way if any of your employees were attacked or only Sabrina? Hmm. 
I think of everyone at the studio like a family, and I want to protect them all, but probably not. Uh, why is that? Most folks at the studio can't take care of themselves. Sabrina just seems so cute and innocent. I want to keep her safe, because I really... Mm -hmm. Really what? Uh, nothing. Do you have feelings for Sabrina? Uh, no, yes, maybe. It's confusing. Early on, I was attracted to her, and I tried to bet her. I got pelted for coming on too strong, rightly so. I was amazed she didn't leave me right then and there. But now, she has her own life and boyfriend. I'm happy for her and wouldn't get it in the way. But I still want to be close to her as a friend or whatever. Sounds like she's very special to you. She's my only close friend I've never slept with. So yeah. You want me to work at a bar? I'm just offering it up as an option. What do we do with Timmy while I'm, I am at work? I think we can work different shifts so I can stay with him while you're working. Well, I suppose it could work and we need the money. It's worth a shot, no pressure though. Who knows, maybe Timmy will like hanging out in a bar. Free puke smells. Take nails. Stop our selling it. Uh, I'm still a little annoyed at you. What did I do? Remember when I gave you a birthday gift? What? I thank you for that, didn't I? Yeah, but you ran off into seclusions immediately after. Sorry, but you know how I get around new toys. <laughs> it's kind of like how you get when a new Windows security patch comes out. A what? That was just an example! Well, uh, that's it. It's been nice working with you. Beep! Wait, what? Am I fixed? Not necessarily, but uh, you've made the court order number of counseling hours, so you don't need to come back anymore. Oh, I see. Good. I continue seeing you anyway. I think this might actually be helping. If you're willing to pay for the sessions, sure. We don't have to stick with the anger management, do we? <laughs> no. Be warned, though, now that I'm coming involuntarily, you're gonna find out how screw-up I really am. That's always the way. Not much, but I need to support my family. You got an experience in bartending, or sorry? Not really, no. You know how to make strings. No. Oh, you have ins instructions for that, right? Oh, can you be snarky to annoy Morpheus? No, that I can do! And I want a new sports car, and a free dinner at the fanciest restaurant, and a 24-hour orgasm, and... <laughs> another day, another dollar. At least my boss wasn't too hard to talk today. Honey, I'm home. Welcome back! Here's Timmy! I need to get going, I don't wanna be late for work! See? Slap like now! Oh. Sorry! I'll have a beer! Which kind would you like? Hang <laughs> Boring! Maybe I didn't need to worry about this job being too demanding. <laughs> Come on.
Mama Sunny, you up? You wanna maybe? Now I call to order our meeting of the Toy Ladies Assembly. Thunder Blast, would you read the minutes of the last meeting? <laughs> There are more of us around now than there used to be, so we should... This is all a bunch of clowns. Will you jerks leave us alone? Not a few ladies. Stop acting all special with the auto exclusionary gloves. Toys have no gender. We are all made of the same plastic. Your chat is slightly different shape, but a girl's are stupid hair too. All right, I heard enough. Get a Jigara! <laughs> Sabrina! Zigzag, where have you been? Feels like we haven't seen each other in a while. I was in therapy. Seriously? Is that the court order a thing? It was, but I'm going there on my own now. <laughs> Uh, I guess I wouldn't have expected that. Me neither, but I think I, it might help me work some stuff out. Well, I hope it does work out for you. Yeah, you know, I kind of owe this all to you. Getting stabbed, sorry. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Spike? Can you hear me, right? When did you start working around here? Carly and I were planning to move into town. I'm taking some work as a boss around till everything is set up. Is Sabrina still around? She shacked up with her boyfriend, but yeah. I thought she and Carly talked all the time. Not much anymore. She probably got busy. That's too bad. Maybe they can reconnect when Carly comes here. She keeps telling me Sabrina needs to get a freaking iPhone. As part of my therapy, I've been examining the relationships in my life, including the one with you. What does that mean? All those times I've flirted with you or pushed you into some situation. I know all that made you pretty uncomfortable. Well, yeah. Anyway, I want to apologize for putting you through that. I see. Thank you, I guess. So, does that mean you quit doing that stuff now? I didn't say that. You know, I realized I owe a lot to you. Damn, sir, uh... How do you mean? I remember when I hired you, it was just for graphic design on DVD packages and a web... Uh, and a simple website. But since then, you spearheaded to the studio's entire digital presence, which accounts for 60% of our income now. In appreciation, I'm giving you a raise and, and a, a say in all studio operations. Whoa, really? Well, I gotta keep my sexy meal ticket sticking around and happy. You were this close to being sweet there. I try harder next time. Guess what? What? I got another race and a promotion. You're gonna make me feel inadequate if you keep jumping past on me by, uh, on the pay scale. Huh, sorry. I'm in charge of the whole new media division. Officially now, not just in practice. Wow, you're getting to be a real power player at a porn studio. Maybe with a few more promotions, I'll stop being embarrassed by that. 
Well, should we celebrate your good business fortune? Oh, what did you have in mind? Why don't you show me what is like now that you're big shot? Mm, I think that can be arranged. Mm. No, no, why don't you come with me to bed? Sure thing, boss. No, kiss me the right way or you're fired. I'm not enjoying this the way I thought I would. You promoted Sabrina? Yep. Didn't you mention doing that already not that long ago? Well, she's very important to the business, not just me personally. Do you think maybe you're letting your feelings toward her influence your di business decisions? Oh, there's no doubt about it. I'm just owning it. As long as there's no confusion. Uh, oops, pardon me. Got a message. Oh! What? Look what your boss sent to me. I don't need to see that. I put up with enough at, at work. How did she get your number anyway? I gave it to her when I did her tech support. Remember when you asked why I, I never got a smartphone? That, that right there. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing, just sending out some text. If you're bored, we can change the subject. What was your childhood like? I don't like talking about my youth. It was not a pleasant time for me. Talking it out might help you sort out your issues and, uh, and live easier with your past. I don't know. I wouldn't want to burden you with my package. You... Do understand the concept behind therapy, right? Life was pretty rough for me as a kid. I was too different. I got my stripes from my grandfather. He was a Siberian tiger. It's not easy growing up as a skunk with the tiger stripe. They might as well have been a bullseye on my ass as far as the other children were concerned. That's where this zigzag name came from, originally. They say experiences like that build a character. If that character is paranoid and violent, they're absolutely right. As much as I disliked the kids at the school, that was nothing compared to my father. He kinda hated the life he wound up with, but loved his booze. It was a dangerous combo that hit me and the rest of the family hard. It didn't help that I rebelled and mouthed off to him a lot. Things got worse as I got older and curvier. Then, then he started taking his frustration out of me in more than one way. I stuck around mostly to protect my siblings, so I stayed to dis designated fuck catcher for some time that's terrible i certainly wouldn't accept anyone to be making light of that why is someone supposed to be making jokes about this i tried but i could only put up with so much and i had to get out of that shack i promised my sips that one day I'd get them away from there, away from him. I had a few friends who tried to help out, but I spent some time on the street while I was figuring out how to support myself. Looking back, I was a bit too ambitious back then. I was hoping to be an, a TV or movie actor, but not many agencies were interested in an odd-looking, nearly homeless skunk with no experience. Mm. Eventually, I did find some paying jobs suited to someone with a few prospects, but plenty of desperations. Wanna party? Get in. 
Stripping and turning trick was no way to live, but at least it kept me off the streets, so to speak. And there my stripes were exotic instead of weird. I met a friend who introduced me to her line of work in adult video. It was more legal than what I was doing, and I had a knack for it. Soon I was in demand gaining a fame and money. I learned the business and worked my way up the ladder. In time, and with the help of some investors, I started up my own studio. I was also able to get my brother and sister away from my father and into a safe home. I was finally in control of my own fate. I was able to help keep others out of the same situations I had to deal with. And I could show my success right up the ass of anyone who came me crap in the past. I didn't realize how much you've dealt with in your life. You're a very strong person. You're gonna apologize for making me talk about it now. It's a little surprising. People with trauma similar to yours often have a strong aversion to sexuality and physical contact. But you have built a career around it. Hmm, maybe it's my rebellious side, I don't know. I always hated the idea that what I am now is just a product of my past. Fair enough. It's not like psychology is an exact science, after all. Yeah, so hypothetically, could sex addiction be related to this stuff, or is that a uh, from birth thing? I know it can be difficult to live with an abusive past. Under the circumstances, I think you've managed rather well. You think so? Despite their best intention, many victims have been known to become abusive themselves. But you appear to be avoiding the cycle. That's absolutely... That's it. Take it. Take it to you. Just calm down. You'll love it. Bullscrap about me! Right. Right.